You might remember Al from our Steyr, Kubelwagen and Goliath restorations. He's a man of many talents and his restoration work with sheet metal is truly phenomenal. He's certainly no stranger to World War I cannons. Last year, he restored three of them. Recently, the museum acquired an incredible piece of our nation's military history. On the 4th of July 1918, a large scale operation was carried out by Australian troops on the German defences at Le Hamel, a small town near the Somme. It was the first operation that was planned and executed entirely by Australian forces during the war and provided a template for combined arms operations for future offensive battles. And it's here that we see the men of the 21st Battalion 2nd Division of the Australian Imperial Force posing with a plethora of captured weapons. Front and centre is a 7.7cm Model 96 field gun captured during the operation. For many years it was displayed in the small town of Ararat, Victoria. By the 1960s its condition had deteriorated to the point that it was taken down and sent off for scrap metal. But a collector rescued it and kept it in storage until a few decades later it was acquired by Rodney Bellars. After his passing, the Australian Armour and Artillery Museum has taken up the mantle of restoring this incredible piece of history and it's up to Al to get it back to what it might have looked like over 100 years ago. It's been sandblasted, primed and delivered to the workshop. As you can see, wherever there's been area for water to lay in, this is where the most damage has occurred. As I mentioned before, Al is no stranger to World War I guns, and this one is in much better condition than some of the others he's worked on. But the significance behind this piece makes it very important to preserve as much as possible. Well, basically you just, yeah, start here, and do all this section first, and then make, make all this pop up, like I've done on the other ones, you know, with your lids and that. Stuff like that will leave because that's that's damage from you know the battle damage. Yeah, but it's, it's a shame to cut out good metal that you don't have to. Yeah, I might I might cut that cut that up through there, just weld a piece in, give it a bit of strength. Same on this side, it's all it's it's knackered. So yeah. So just cutting around the rust and putting some new steel in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. The first job is to get the gun off the ground and onto some stands. The barrel has come off the traverse screw, which is why it's drooping down. And you've got to go forward so we can bring that out and slide it on. With a bit of a nudge, Al and Daz get it back into place. This would be metric, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we could find a nut. It's, it should have to go over to the flat part of the spline there. So that's a round hole that goes down that way. So can we... Well, that would probably... All, all that's going to do is go back and forward to yeah. find it. Unfortunately, the handle is lost to time. But we will be able to fabricate a new one based off the other guns in the museum. don't have the expertise to make the wheels in-house, so these will have to be outsourced, but when they arrive, we'll show you how they're fitted. Now Al has it secured and in his workspace, he can get to work on the trail.
say we do it on cars. With the replacement metal welded in, he can grind it back flat and it's good as new. trailer has been pressed out of one sheet of metal at 90 degree angles. We happen to have the same grade of metal in this rectangular hollow section. With a bit of grinding work, we'll fit in perfectly. Put that off. All the way along? Yeah. Yep. How are you going to do that? Skinny wheel. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get it. We've been bloody lucky, eh? Uh... pull together. As the old saying goes, measure twice, cut once. Cover that, and then I'll get to here. I'll make a new piece there, separate piece. change in direction where it comes along and bevels up. Try and save that. Try and save that and bring that down through there to there. So I'm not disturbing all this. We'll just cut a piece to go in there and then we'll put the skinny wheel through there and cut that out. Yeah. 
we also have to remove these threaded rods and replace them with rivet heads. Al just has to bang this one out of the way so his straight edge can fit. bit easier. Yeah. Throwing that away. I'll make it flatten up. See? Make it flatten up. Then I'll just get me a bit of flat plate, put that on, cut it out. Yeah. And that's got to come forward. Trim off. I might put a little bit of heat on that and just tap it around a bit. Like 
Yeah. We'll grind all that off. So grinding now? Yeah. Not bad, Al. No rust here. <laughs> Al's going to use a two-part epoxy for this part. And once it goes off, it will be as hard as steel and can be sanded smooth. To get a good bond, he gives it a wire wheel first. Secret, hey? Yep. Smooth. We hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our newest project. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tune in next Wednesday for your weekly tank restoration fix. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armor, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>